Happy Monday, guys. Uh, spent the morning on the phone on a new product that we're working on. I'm really hoping to announce in the next few weeks, so that's exciting. Uh, wanted to give a shout out to Chris. Chris sent this in, a uh, piece of stainless that he made with our logo on it. Uh, it's a really cool you know, key opener chain. And then what I also noticed, uh, which is super cool, a little different, is the titanium or tritium uh, insert here that glows in the dark. It's a nice color blue. So I thought that was a, a really nice uh, piece of work. Um, we are, oh, we, I also just bought the LCD backpack for the GoPro. And you know, I, this is a good example. I was debating, I was like, oh, John, you don't need to spend another 80 bucks on your, a piece of camera equipment. And you know what? It was totally worth it. Syncing this thing with our phone is a pain in the ass. You got to take your phone off Wi-Fi, and we will use this even more. And you know, we'll know we're getting good footage. You know, Adam Booth, uh, he knows his well enough to always get it spot on. But I really like seeing um, what you're getting at. So that was awesome. Uh, wanted to mention too, we a guy named David from Mill Fast Products brought this uh, new controller to the open house and put it on our machine. It's a e-stop, pause, stop, start, cool button for the Tormach. Uh, it looks really nice, it's well made. I probably wouldn't buy one like this. It just doesn't do enough for me. Um, you're supposed to have moved this e-stop outside with the enclosure, so the e-stop is nice. I like that, but again, it should already be out here. Uh, the rest of the buttons I don't really need because we use the touch screen. But he does have some other products that I like better. One of them is a little jog wheel, like a little joystick for your axes, which I like. And then he's got like a probe. If you use both the active and the passive probe, he's got a really cool piece of hardware that lets you use both at, at, without having to go into the settings. So uh, shout out to his products. Check his website out if you're interested. Um, and then I wanted to actually get a question for you guys. We, you know, we never really used to change lathe tools that often because we just kind of kept the same inserts in there. And I threw that Kenna metal back in, actually the video we just released this morning on it, to, to run the job in 1018. And I noticed, um, hitting my, I'm hitting the viewfinder with my nose to try to focus the thing. Um, I noticed that the space between the insert um, and then that little gray spacer, if I don't pay attention to that when I'm tightening the center post down, there's a, like a bigger gap in there, which is crazy to me that it would be an unsupported tip and it would change the height of the tool. Um, is that common? Is that just because this is a lower quality holder? Is there, is there more to that that I don't know? Um, but been super happy with how that insert is working. That's really been awesome. And we also spent yesterday doing some lathe maintenance. I am embarrassed to admit that I had, I don't even want to say the number out loud, but some lost motion in the x-axis and it took me a second to think about why that was there and it ends up that I had over tightened my gib so um, loosening that gib up and just playing with that it only took about 20 minutes after I figured out what the problem was so I'm hopeful it's funny because we turned those stainless pulleys and they did great um, but I'm, I'm hoping that that helps here and really we're at the point now where I've got to get our we've got a I've got a template started, but I got to get like a maintenance schedule down for air compressors, for machines, for oil, for checking stuff. Um, I just do, some folks have sent in some good ones. So um, that's the stuff that I think of is not, it's not so much, I guess it's not fun, but once you do it, you just do it, no big deal. Uh, on that note, some folks have said that we need to read up on lean. And uh, I was, I kind of feel like we are lean, but obviously, um, or not if people are saying that. So I would actually love to hear, uh, do you guys have good tips or recommendations for you know good books or podcasts or something on how we should be more lean? Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention was we were working with one of our vendors and it made me kind of think, now I, we've got to work with vendors that we either love working with and if we don't like working with them, it's time to find new ones. Uh, this was just silly. This was buying our t-shirts and I actually do really like them but it kind of made me realize if you don't like them, don't just keep going along and go with the flow. Find a new one because you never know. Um, you just never know what you're going to pick up if you pick up a new one. And don't do business with people you don't enjoy doing business with. Um, oh, lastly, wanted to plug the Tormach Open House. It is July ooh, 23rd. Let me check that real quick. Um, but we are going to be there up in Madison, Wisconsin. Would love to 
um, meet you guys and hang out and it's free. You can RSVP. Uh, last year's event was really cool. I think they'll have some other YouTubers there as well. Yeah, Saturday, July 23rd. So come to that. Otherwise, uh, tomorrow I'm off to check out an iron worker. So I'm really excited to see. The question is gonna be shearing. If it can't shear good enough to feed parts in for the machine side, we'll, we'll probably still get one, but it's a less exciting machine. Uh, I'm really hoping that, well, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know.